video on some new beers that have um, come in store. These actually arrived last week. Uh, I didn't get a chance to include them in last Thursday's uh, video post, so I thought I'd do a video just on its own for them. So the beers today that I'm going to have a uh, quick look at are the Avila range, or the gift pack range from Sierra Nevada, the Avila beers. Um, some of these, uh, well, the, the Avila beer name has been released uh, in Australia before. They've done like a quad with plums. They've traditionally always been in a smaller 375 mil bottles with a cork. They present really, really nice, um, and these are beers that you could um, have over a period of time and age um, and uh, pull out of the cellar and have in a couple of years' time if you like. Before I go into actually describing what the beers are all about and, um, and what they are and the styles and so forth, I thought I would just give you a little bit of a uh, history lesson as to where the name Avila comes from and what the beers are inspired by. So um, Avila was actually a, um, a Trappist, or a monastery, not a Trappist monastery, a monastery that started in um, about the 1100s um, in, uh, in Spain. So they had this monastery, 1100s, um, and it started in Spain. It was going on for a number of centuries, and in about 1835, it went into disrepair. So the monks uh, kind of left the monastery, and it was left up to the government to sort of work out what to do with this monastery that had been built, had been there for centuries, and was currently un not being used. So the Spanish government decided that they would start um, pulling down the stones from the monastery, um, and they started basically, well, they sold the whole lot effectively to um, private owners, and those owners took over those stones, and some of those stones were being used for new buildings in Spain and in the area, um, and a lot of the stones were kind of used for farmhouses and animal shelters and so forth in the farmland areas. Uh, so you basically had this beautiful monastery, uh, had been operating for, for centuries, uh, kind of went in disre disrepair, was sold by the Spanish government to private um, owners, and they decided to break it down and, and make money out of it and, and sell it and so forth. Come about 1931, and a, uh, an American publisher uh, was uh, over in Spain and he decided that it would be a good idea to try and uh, buy some of these stones. So he bought the stones from the private owners, the Spanish private owners, and he had 10,000 stones shipped back to uh, the US, to California, the West Coast. Um, and his vision or his idea, um, it was a bit far-fetched, but he wanted to build a castle out of it in California. So he shipped back 10,000 stones from Spain, um, onto the west coast into California um, and his castle never got built. So he had 10,000 stones there, uh, I think he ended up passing away, um, and those 10,000 stones kind of got left abandoned in San Francisco for decades, so from about 1935 for about 40 odd years. They then um, basically, uh, people kind of realised that there was all these stones that were there um, and a local monastery um, that uh, that is in um, in Vena, California. Uh, there's the Clairvaux Monastery there, and they decided to take on board some of those um, those stones, um, and they started to rebuild the chapter house. So the chapter house from the original monastery in Spain was being rebuilt by the some monks in um, in California. Other stones had been kind of you know sold and and whatnot, and so they got the stones that were just for the chapter house and they decided to rebuild it um, in their monastery. So they have a monastery um, in California, it's on 600 acres on a working farm and part of that project of rebuilding um, the chapter house is partly being helped by uh, funds being uh, made by selling beers uh, made by Sierra Nevada. So Sierra Nevada have come to the party and it's called the chapter house project um, and they are basically using funds that are uh, made from selling these beers to assist the monks in rebuilding that original Avila chapter house. So that's where the name comes from. Um, so Avila, they, uh, they use the name for the beers. They've released three beers in a really, really nice gift pack. So that's what the gift pack comes in. Uh, they're 750 mil bottles, uh, about 79 bucks um, for one of those packs. Uh, you can uh, keep them for a little while if you like, or you can drink them now for it if you're really, really keen. Um, but the idea is that, uh, yeah, all the, or not all the funds, but some of the funds go to uh, assist the monks in rebuilding the chapter house. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the, or the, all three of the beers. Uh, the interesting thing that this, uh, I mentioned that it was a working farm that the monks have there. They've got about 600 acres. So 
they have added some fruits to these beers, and uh, those fruits are actually grown and harvested directly from that farm that the monks have um, in their abbey. So the very first one is an abbey quad with cherries. You can see that one there. So quads, sort of high alcohol. Uh, quads, traditionally, you'll have kind of dark fruits and uh, quite sort of raisiny tones, and the cherries are um, kind of added to that to try and complement those raisins and dark fruits. That'd be quite nice. They also have a brown owl, and this one is with uh, mandarins and cocoa. So in Europe, um, sort of orange or citrus and, um, and chocolate kind of go quite well together, and it's quite popular. So that is a mandarin and cocoa brown. Whoa. And the last one is the Abbey Saison with sage. So sage is uh, obviously a herb or a, a, um, a spice, uh, and you can use it in different types of cooking and whatnot. Um, and they've used white sage in this one. And white sage is actually, uh, well, the, this, this variant of white sage is one that is uh, common or native to California. So they've uh, got some in their garden and they've decided to add some of the, the white sage into this saison. So saisons are tri uh, traditionally got quite a sort of bit of spice to it um, and a bit of yeast, yeast notes to it. And with the sage, it kind of adds another layer to it as well. So that would be quite nice. Um, and yeah, that, that could be drunk fresh as well. It'd be very, very good. So that's the Villa Abbey Ale three pack from Sierra Nevada. Um, so Sierra Nevada are a very big uh, brewery in the States, um, so the quality um, is very, very good. They, they pump out quite a lot of beers, and you can be rest assured that the quality of the beers that they make are very, very good. So they're available online and in store in the three-pack set. And also in the comment box below, any questions you have, please add them in there. And uh, at the, the subject of the post was that there was a chance to win $500 of craft beer. So we're actually doing a survey of craft beer drinkers in Australia just to sort of understand behaviours and trends and what people like and, and where people purchase and, and so forth. And if you want to have a chance to win that $500, you just need to complete the survey. The link will be in the comment box below. Um, so I'll just add that in just when I finish this post. And uh, once you complete the survey, you'll go into the draw and you'll also get a chance to get the survey results. So we'll basically be sharing those results with people who um, complete the survey. So if you'd like to chance the $500 um, of craft beer to be in the, in the running, just complete the survey. Link will be below. And uh, I'll be back on Thursday around about 5 p.m. Uh, with some more new beers that have come in over the last few days. Um, and yeah, any question, put them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.